We're going to go to Moscow now. Oh, what? It's Mr. Mike Porky Perry, everybody! Hey. Hello. How are you, Mike? Hey, hello, Mike. Oh, are are you with me now? Yes, we're with you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm sorry, it's so loud here. We're in uh, Moscow, obviously, and uh, we've got a billion Manchester United fans. You hear the background. But I've got one Manchester United fan here. Yes. When this Chip Jay comes back to his shirt, your name, sir, is? John. John. Ian, John's here. He's been the game tonight. He's now celebrating. I'm going to put you on to John. John, this is Ian Collins. How are you, John? Hello, Hello, okay. jo yeah, I'm good, mate. Now, listen, um, I suppose I should, uh, even though I'm a Chelsea fan, I should say congratulations, but I think what came out of last night, John, was that I think we'd all agree, what a spectacular game of football. Oh, it was a great game, wasn't it? I mean, I don't know how it came over. I mean, it's different, obviously, when you're there. Yeah. Uh, I hope it came over well on the TV. I mean, still is. I mean, there's Chelsea fans here in the hotel as well, and there's no problems anywhere. And um, it sounds like there's a massive after party going on there, the mother of all yeah, after it's parties. Actually, it's coming light here at, at the moment. And is I mean, it. The birds are out. I mean, it's. Uh, I think people are just going to go straight to the press at 7 o'clock. Is it just United fans that are partying there? Uh, no, there's a few Chelsea fans talking about as well. To be fair to them, most of them have gone to bed, which I know that it'd have been the other way around. I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, <laughs> is it all quite good humoured? Oh yeah, it's very good humoured, yeah. It's not, honestly, it's not a problem at all. There's a few Chelsea fans in the bar there. And obviously, it's predominantly United, but yep. there's still a few Chelsea knocking about and it's, 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 it's no problem whatsoever. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like uh, <laughs> they're ready for you to rejoin them, John. Yeah, it's great stuff. You take care. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, mate. Uh, bye that's bye John, bye the bye. United fan. Uh, there he is, out there in Moscow. Okay, pal. Uh, Mr. Mike Parry is still with us. Mike, you've been partying with the fans there. Well, that was John. He's a great guy. <laughs> he certainly is. Uh, now, Ian, I know you're a great guy as well, okay? Thank you. But, I mean, we're in a different situation now. What we're in a situation here is we're in Moscow, okay, to start off with, right? Yep. Now, I know that you're, I know you're, you're a potted red, okay? Go on. <laughs> or a closet libro or something. Yes. And uh, <laughs> so so I know that you will understand what I'm saying to you now. You cannot escape the redness, the communism, liberalism of uh, the former Communist Party in Moscow at the moment. Do you understand yeah. this? So what you're saying is you're definitely in Moscow. <laughs> well, the great thing about Moscow is that uh, it is Moscow. The Americans call it Moscow, but it shouldn't really be called Moscow because it's not a cow, it's Moscow. Now, what I'm trying to do at the moment, Ian, talking to you because you're a great guy, I'm moving towards an area of this fantastic organisation which is a little bit quieter than what we're talking to at the moment, okay? Okay. Are we right on this? Yeah, we're absolutely and, fine, mate. Okay, right, listen, mate, I'm right out here now. I'm in, right, I've just got into the early morning air in Moscow. In the early morning mist I see Lots of things and misery And to his side is painless Right, we got there? Yeah, that was good. Okay, mate. That was very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've, uh, I've just managed to come outside. Now, let me just talk to you uh, quite seriously. Ian, uh, I'm walking now literally quarter of a mile, half a mile away from the hotel, but it's still very noisy. And the reason it's very noisy is because there's lots of Manchester United fans around here Fantastic. who are clearly very happy at the fact that their club have won the European uh, Champions League trophy tonight. Correct. And so what I'm saying is, Ian, we've got to handle that. Absolutely right. And listen, what, what about um, our, our esteemed colleagues, Mike? What have you done with Mr. Brazil and Mr. Irani? Well, I have to say, Ian, that uh, these guys have uh, got to get to bed early because they're doing the breakfast show tomorrow. Correct. And by the way, we have the top breakfast show. I mean, the tops. It it, re it really the, uh, uh, it sounded great. There's from not yesterday. a better breakfast show in the world, in my view. Uh, but, but now, I'll, my I'll... view might be rather narrow, but I don't think it is. Now let's get down seriously. So, uh, I'm not joking. In. It's very very kind of you to invite us onto your show tonight. Ah, uh, well, I wouldn't have missed your it for the world, the best in the w Excuse me. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. No, your show's the best in the world, mate. We're here in That's Moscow. That's very true. Uh, Moscow is a fantastic place to be at the moment because, of course, that uh, the all the excitement prior to about four or five hours ago was who's going to win the Champions League yeah. and the European Cup, and now it's all sorted. The Manchester United won it, so in a way, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of uh, win and lose situation. 
It's one well, way of I looking at it. What I spoke to you a few minutes ago was inside the hotel where the Manchester United fans are celebrating, and so it should be because they, they, they've won it, even though it was on penalties. The Chelsea fans are nowhere to be seen, and you can't blame them because I believe, like you do, in that there are winners and losers in life. Yeah. Winners take it all. The winner takes it all! <laughs> and the losing life, and the loser takes a fall! And that's, I'm afraid that's the way it goes. That is the way the footballing cookie crumbles. Um, how, how did you end up there, Mike? Because we, we, <laughs> I mean... Sorry, how, how, did I, you mean how, did I, how did I end up in Moscow? Yes. <laughs> well, I got on a plane from Heathrow. <laughs> did, you get on on the the Tuesday, eh? did you get on the business class flight? Well... I think that's a very delicate subject, really. It certainly is. <laughs> I mean, the, the answer is yes, but uh, that makes me look like a, a bit of a business class punts. No, no, I, 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 I was here on. I'm not. I was here on Tuesday morning when Al was perhaps a slight, slightly concerned about the seating arrangements. <laughs> well, well, I I do honestly believe that if you've got to travel the world in the pursuit of business. Even for a company as magnificent as Talk Sport, yeah. you deserve to have your bum on a comfortable seat. Am I right in saying, Mike, that had you gone on the flight you were originally going to go on, that was the one that never ended up taking off? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I think it might have been. Well, it could have been. And, and the one thing I must say to you, Ian, is that you are normally right, <laughs> and I'm normally wrong. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what I'm saying is here, you probably got the line, I'm very wrong. All I know is, it, it goes like this. You go to Heathrow. Now, and this is a interesting story. Go to Terminal 5. You, I'm sitting in the back of my uh, chauffeur-driven car, and I've got my fingers in my mouth, uh, and I'm chewing the bones off my fingers in case it goes wrong to Terminal 5, right? Right, <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, seriously. Go on. But can I tell you this? Can I tell you this, Ian? My car dropped me at 10 to 6 on Tuesday morning to come here in Moscow. Yeah. By 10 past 6, I'm not joking in, I was shopping in the Harrods Hall of Terminal 5, honestly. Fantastic. I'd gone through, I'd gone through uh, my baggage, security, uh, passport check and everything. And I was there in, uh, in, the, in the hall and it was absolutely fantastic, believe me. So, well listen, I'm... I'm, I'm glad you're in one piece, Mike. You sound like you're in brilliant company there. Yeah. Well, I just want to say one thing before I go, and yeah. that is this, that you and I have worked together sometimes. We have. And I've worked it out. Yes. You're a better man than me. That's, yeah, and well, that's probably right. The fact you're talking to me now, I think is fantastic. It's amazing. The fact that I'm in Moscow, which is a third world country, and the fact that you're back in talks about Towers, which is a first class company, and the first class country probably says a lot about it all. It does. It do yeah, that says that you blagged the trip to Moscow and I didn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. I would <laughs> say that uh, there are winners and there are losers in life in. You shouldn't look <laughs> at yourself like that. I mean, I think... I think excuse it's... <laughs> me, excuse me. I am just trying to ask our listeners, this is the equation. There are winners and losers in life. Th Who's that's... the winner? Who's the loser? The winner takes it all! <laughs> the loser takes fault. I'll leave you with that thought. Listen, Mike, we'll speak very soon. Have a safe trip back. He went very quiet. Honestly. I think he thought yeah. I'd put him back on hold, which is the radio thing to do, you see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. That's Mike Parry. Yeah. And he'd, um, he's clearly had a good time. Yeah, very, yeah. very good time. I wish I was pissed in Moscow. <laughs>